Hi guys, how is everyone? I am so happy to be here with you as always. You brighten my day, you brighten my heart. Um, I am hoping that this video is finding you happy, healthy, and safe. This video is tips on how to deepen any sort of meditation, but also if you're listening to a hypnosis audio or you're going into a session, these are tips that the person may or probably won't give you that can help you to deepen the trance state that you're gonna go into to get way more results out of it and to be able to go into trance quicker. So I think this is gonna be a good one for you guys and I'm excited to share these tips with you. So the very first tip is one that some people know and some people don't, but should be pretty common knowledge when it comes to hypnosis, which is you're in control. In the therapeutic hypnosis world, we actually say any hypnosis is self-hypnosis because even if you're being assisted by an expert, it's still up to you to do that awesome work of concentrating and being in it to win it, right? So with that said, this means that the more relaxed you are, the more you concentrate, the better it will go. Because you are in control, that's why these tips work. Knowing that even within the session, you have control over what's going on around you and what's going on within you, is how these tips maximize and do their job. So that's the first important thing for you to know. <laughs> so my second tip, moving on from that, is one that I might have gently touched on in further uh, previous sessions that I've done for you guys. So one is when you are trying to go into your own meditation or when you are listening to a hypnosis audio or doing a video with me, something that will help you go under deeper and quicker. And this is a very ancient technique, very ancient and a very uh, effective but simple technique, which is simply when you have your eyes closed to roll your eyes up a little bit as if you were looking at the inside of your forehead right here. So just rolling them up and back a little bit. And for whatever reason, that really helps you to enter a trance state quicker. And so when you're listening to a hypnosis session, um, just try to do that. Just be mindful of that. You won't be able to hold on to it the whole time and that's fine. And especially if you enter a really deep state and you're like blissed out, you don't need to worry about retaining that. But it's a really good tip for when you're trying to enter a trance state to just roll those eyeballs back up and a good way to keep focus there is usually there's this little ball of light playing right there behind your eyelids when you roll your eyeballs up and it fluctuates as if like a black hole was bursting. And so what I like to do is just watch that ball of light moving and bursting and growing. And that is a great way to stay in meditation to keep your focus. And it's a great way to deepen your hypnotic trance when you're listening to or watching an audio. So the next suggestion is your head position. And now I've said this in my videos before when I was putting you guys under, but you guys might have been confused about why I'm suggesting this or thinking it's mainly for comfort and it is partially for comfort. So in my videos, what I would say is that it is good to when you're getting into a trance state, usually what happens is your muscles get so relaxed that your head lets go, right? And when your head lets go, you either go forward or backwards. Backwards is not comfortable. So that's one of the tips uh, or one of the reasons why I'm sharing that with you guys is to let it go forward as opposed to backwards. Because if you're doing a 20 minute session, or longer, that is going to just be really, really uncomfortable. Whereas this might seem uncomfortable, but unless you have some really severe neck problem, and I have neck problems, and I find in a trance state, because everything is so relaxed, that this is actually really, really comfortable for me. And in fact, my neck actually feels way better um, when I come out of it. Now, if you are in an actual session with an expert, they'll often put you in a recliner and your head is just gonna be resting and not doing that. 
or if you're completely reclined with like a pillow beneath your head, again, it's just not gonna go anywhere because it's supported, but that takes a little bit of the oomph out of it. So you can of course do that and it's gonna be no biggie if you want your neck supported the whole time, but I find that it really helps to, damp, uh, to deepen the trance state, which helps you to know that you're being hypnotized, which then helps to deepen the trance state even further, because when you have proof that the hypnosis is working, it works quicker and then deeper, and it's like this continuing cycle of quicker and deeper when you have something physically that proves it. So if you're so supported that you don't get that drop, then it still can be very effective, but you're just not gonna get that like, oh, hey, look at that. Look at how like crazy relaxed I am that like my head is just like completely warm, you know? Um, so that's why that is tip number three to just like sit up, get comfy, have a pillow behind your back, have your legs planted and just let your head, when you get to that point where you're so relaxed that it just doesn't wanna hold itself up, let it go forward and you'll find that that will immediately help deepen your trance state and help you feel like, whoa, that's kind of cool. Um, so the next one, it's like when you're in meditation and you have a thought, instead of getting angry at it, you just note it and let it go. The same with a noise, just note it and say, and that's gonna take me deeper, it will. And in fact, that's actually a technique that hypnotherapists and stage hypnosis uh, people will use. It's called a deepening technique where they will put you under and then bring you out and then put you under again. And when you go back under, you go even deeper. So if you think of that noise as being that deepening technique, it brought you out a little bit, but you go right back under and you'll go even deeper. It can be not to your detriment, but used in a very good way to keep you relaxed and in a great hypnotic state. It's all about how you look at it, which is most things in life, right? And my last tip is something that I'm very excited about that I've been learning about recently. And so I'm getting certified in chakra healing. I'm getting certified in Reiki, um, all these other great healing tools that I'm going to be utilizing in my sessions with clients and for you guys. So my last tip is about one of those um, healing modalities through yoga uh, that I have been learning about that I'm going to be utilizing. And this one is called a mudra or a mudras, uh, plural. Uh, so mudras are essentially hand yoga positions. So you think of like typical yogas like the downward dog, cat, cow, um, you know, snake on a plane, all of those things uh, as what yoga is. But there's a whole other world. And one of those is mudras, which are instead of your whole body and all these exercises, these little things with your hand that you just hold while you're meditating, while you're breathing, you can do it while you're watching TV. And what I am incorporating it into is doing a certain hand position, a mudra, while you are doing hypnosis. And doing these specific positions, there's a ton of, there's like over a hundred different mudras. Um, the idea behind it is that your body and different points all control mm, the electric energy in your body. And doing different positions accesses different channels, controlling different uh, organs, your mind, your brain, your energy state, uh, your concentration, your ability to relax and recharges or fixes them. Um, so each mudra has a different uh, piece of the body, it's healing, uh, an energy line it's fixing, etc. I'm not gonna get all into that now, but that's just a really uh, basic idea of how a mudra works. And it's so much easier than like, you know, a full yoga routine, right? It's just, you do a little tiny hand thing, like the, you know, the stereotypical, We've seen this, right, with everyone who's doing meditation, the pictures of people who meditate. And, you know, for the longest time I didn't, like I just thought it was a thing. That's just how people meditated when they were like super into yoga. Um, I didn't know it was this whole world of different hand positions and healing modalities. 
Um, and now like my mind is blown at learning all these things, but so that's this stereotypical cliche like meditation one. And this is one example I will give you of a mudra that you can use while you're trying to meditate or while you are trying to do hypnosis. You can just incorporate it on your own when listening to a different video, doing a hypnosis of mine. Now this one specifically is for accessing your higher mind, accessing your better energy, higher vibrations, getting inspired. So if that's what you are really wanting to channel, then you can do this one. If you're wanting to go more grounded, you can actually like flip it below and just rest it on your knees. But if you do it the uh, towards the earth, it's getting your energies to be more grounded, more calm, feeling the safety, feeling your roots in the ground, just feeling protected. And sometimes we really need that and people forget about that grounding, which is really important to everything. It's the stepping stone. Um, but if you are just wanting to get inspired and feel up and good and ready to go, when you're done with it, you can do the typical one that we all know. But the one that I'm going to share with you now, I found this one that I'm about to show you more effective than these for me when it comes to going into trance and keeping that. But experiment, and it might be different for you. But I was so amazed by this one, so I wanted to share it with you too. So it essentially, I'm going to try to get high enough. Uh, it essentially is just you do this, and it's the right hand over the left. You put your fingers over your palm, and you can either rest your thumb on top or have thumbs touching and you can bring your arms down into your lap or at your belly button center but I'm gonna hold it here so you can see and I'm already like feeling the relaxation as I breathe so if you do this mudra while you are going into a hypnosis just putting it you would want to rest it in your lap while you're going into hypnosis so that you can fully relax and not worry about holding your hands up. I think that will really help just get that relaxation in your body and it's a really great healing one as well. So that is my final tip to just practice uh, this specific mudra to help go into that deeper relaxed state. And I am just so excited to share these tips with you and to be back doing these videos for you. Um, you can, if you want to hear more about my journey with energy healing and alternative sides of healing modalities that I have been on and that I am educating myself in to bring those to you, you can watch my update video. And I also have a, um, a peace, tranquility, self-love healing video, uh, hypnosis up for you. Um, and I have a lot more coming soon, so please subscribe, please share, um, and also let me know what you would like to see right now. What um, sort of videos do you want to see and what sort of sessions would be really helpful to you in this moment? So let me know and also check me out on social media and we can build a great uh, kind of network there together for mindfulness and peace, which I think we all need, obviously. So love you guys and see you soon. Bye.